For this recipe, all you need is two chicken breasts, half an onion, half a cup of cilantro, one to two avocados, depending on how much you like avocados. I like it a lot, so I did two. Two tablespoons of Greek yogurt, one to two limes, depending on how tangy you like it. I like really tangy, so I put a lot of lime in it. Salt and pepper to taste, and bread or crackers of your choice. So my avocados aren't as ripe as I would like them. If you get a very ripe avocado, it will definitely help you in this smashing process will make it a little easier. And since we are using the lime juice in this recipe, this will keep very well in the fridge for a few days. It's not going to turn color on you, so it's very important that you do use the lime juice. And all you're doing here is just putting all of the ingredients together, mixing it up and making a sandwich, eating crackers, however you want to pack that for you. For this recipe, you need 3 cups of cooked brown rice, 3 tablespoons of sesame oil, 2 tablespoons of low-sodium soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of hoisin sauce or teriyaki sauce, it's optional if you have it at home, 2 cups of cooked chicken breast, 1 can of peas, half a carrot, 1 yellow onion, 2 cloves of garlic or 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, three green onions, four eggs, salt and pepper to taste, and one tablespoon of ginger paste. First, we'll be chopping our chicken breast into small pieces. Next, we'll be chopping our onion, carrots, green onions, and garlic. Next, 
We are preparing our egg mixture by cracking four eggs into a bowl, adding salt and pepper to taste, mixing it up and setting aside. Completely optional step, I like to add a tablespoon of hoisin sauce or teriyaki sauce to my fried rice. So if you would like to try it, just mix it with your soy sauce here and set it aside. We'll add it to the rice later. In medium-high heat, I add the oil, all of the veggies along with the ginger paste and saute for about 2 minutes. I do like to save a little bit of the green onions for garnishing later. After sauteing the veggies, the next step is to scramble the eggs. You do have the option of doing this in a separate pan, absolutely. Now, I'm not going to say I'm lazy, um, I'm going to say I just like to make things a little easier for myself, so I just push everything to the side and just make it all happen right here. Now I am switching to a bigger pot because I realized that it's just not gonna fit in the one that I'm working on. Uh, I forgot to tell you to save a little bit of the oil for this step, um, I'm sorry about that. So about a tablespoon of the oil, I like to put it in here before I do the rice. So again, we are in medium high heat, I add a little bit of oil, about a tablespoon, add our rice or chicken or sauce mixture, which is the soy sauce and the teriyaki or hoisin sauce, if you chose to do that. We're just going to fry it up, add the veggies, mix it around, and we're good to go.
For this recipe, you need two cups of cooked chicken breast, two cups of cooked brown rice, one cup of shredded cheese, one 28 ounce can of enchilada sauce, one cup of corn, one can of black beans, one tablespoon of olive oil, avocado oil, or whatever oil you prefer, half a cup of cilantro, half a yellow onion, two garlic cloves or a tablespoon of minced garlic, and half a jalapeno if you like it. We start by preheating the oven to 375. Next, we will chop our onion, garlic, and cilantro. Using a saucepan on medium heat, add your oil, onion, and garlic, saute it for a little bit. Add your enchilada sauce, cover it, turn the heat to medium low, let it cook for about three minutes, then set it aside. In a large bowl, we are adding all of our ingredients other than the cheese. Before adding your sauce, put aside one cup of the sauce. So you're saving the cheese and one cup of the sauce for our last step. Other than that, all of the ingredients here and mix it together. Now we're going to add this whole mixture to a uh, baking dish. You can do this in a large baking dish all together or you can use individual um, oven safe glass containers like this. I will put the link below for the ones that I got at Amazon. I like them, they're really good. Once you have the mixture down, you will add the remaining of the sauce on top, add the cheese and garnish with jalapeno if you like it. Bake it at 375 for 25 minutes. Well, this is it for today's video, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed these recipes just as much as I did. Let me know in the comments down below how you like them once you try. And remember, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I wish you the most amazing week. May you crush your goals and I'll see you next week with another meal prep video.